hi guys welcome back to the next chess video tutorial and in this video tutorial we are going to learn how we can call the fetch api or the uh, api data from the server end so uh, this is the api data which is coming from the api so i'm just going to delete this code and doing it from the very scratch so delete the code just i'm going to use here git dash all right so after that you can see that this is our previous code uh, which is we do in the last video and guys if you uh, don't know about the basics of next.js then you can watch our previous video also and how we can make the routings and how we how we can make this uh, server side calls the link is given in the description box all right so now let's get start with the uh, how we can uh, fetch the data from the api all right so this is our the basic code so first of all what i'm going to do i'm going to install a uh, 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 isomorphic unfetch so for that just copy this th I have the two URLs one for the npm package that we have to install and the another uh, link for the API from where we are going to fetch the data so this is the data that, that we are going to fetch alright so first of all just install this isomorphic fetch API so just stop the execution first of all and just write here npm i okay so npm i is already included here just install it all right so it will take just some moments and after that we are able to write the code all right so uh, this is uh, installed now so first of all what we have to do so first of all you have to import the uh, isomorphic uh, package here so just write here import fetch from isomorphic fetch all right so now what i'm going to do actually so i don't need this uh, just manipulate the some code so that uh, we can save the time uh, expect that we have to write it so just install the uh, remove the post function from here and we can remove all these things here from here also just write this code here and you can just change the header like uh, fetch data from API alright so now uh, what first of all you have to do so first of all you have to write here uh, home dot get initial state props so f uh, why we are just using, uh, using this because this is the uh, property that will uh, help help to the call the API so just write here get initial props alright so this is the async function so you can use the async here and just write a async function also here and here just take a variable uh, variable name like const you can take so it's a response and here we have to use the await because the api fetch function will give you the uh, asynchronous data or you can say that the promise so just copy it and pass here and after that uh, just take one more const here and take the uh, name like data or whatever you want so just use the await and write here resp dot json and now just return an object so in the return you can do something like uh, data simply all right so uh, it's not properly working f uh, as of now so just uh, copy this from here okay so just call the uh, take the props in the as a parameter and for the sure that it's data it's coming or not so just co uh, just uh, comment uh, the code and just you can write the log for now just data you can write here props so let's check some data is coming or not inside the props 
okay so we did not uh, start it yet just write here uh, npm run dev and it will just going to start all right so here you can see that we got the data here all right so the lots of data here which is coming from the apis so now just start the code again so now you what you can do just uh, simply write here props dot um, data and you can use the map function all right so in the map function just type here data and and here you can just write your code so first of all you can place a div here so that everything is wrapped inside the div all right now you can just copy this data and simply paste here the code from here okay so now uh, as you can see uh, we have a uh, user ID here also and title here also so we don't need to change the name of this but we have to just put the data here and same thing we have to do here also so now let's see is it working or some error is there so now you can see that so now you can see that when I just click on this URL it's going on the next page so every URL I think should work alright so every URL is working here so thanks guys thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe our channel and like this video please uh, give some uh, suggestions in the comment and if you have any kind of query you can ask me in the comment box also so thanks guys thanks for watching this video